Welcome back to the channel. This is Andrew, Running with Dr. Andrew. Today I'd like to share with you how I got my half marathon time from 2.23 down to 133. <clears throat> Alright guys, I've been running for at least five years pretty consistently and and so I've been running half marathons for a while for at least uh, since in my early 30s or so and kind of stopped running for a little while and then started running back again and so back in 2017 I ran my first half marathon again <clears throat> and it was in two hours and 23 minutes so definitely not the best time um, but I finished it and uh, learned a lot from that in what I needed to do. I trained, maybe I got up to maybe 10 miles or so on a training run, didn't do any strengthening or any type of things like that. Then uh, here recently, back in February of this year, I ran a, my fastest time yet of one hour and 33 minutes, the half marathon time. And I'd like to share with you a few things that I did to help improve that time. <clears throat> All right guys, the, first thing that I did was that I did most of my runs at 80% 80 percent um, of my most of my runs I did it at an easy pace and so what that means most uh, you know 20 percent of the time I did hard runs and um, did either tempo runs or speed work and also I did long runs too, but pretty long runs. And I, I was training for a marathon at the, at the time. I did went up to 23 miles. You don't necessarily have to do that for the half marathon, but I think it does help out whenever you do run something that's a little bit longer than the race, especially when it comes to half marathon. I think that's okay. Marathon's a little bit differently. I think half marathon, you're okay going above that time. So that's number one is Number two, I did a lot of uh, weekly tempo runs and I would add to the tempo run up to at least 10 miles of a tempo run. And so that really helped out, you know, running as fast as I can um, up to 10 miles and um, not fast as I can, but definitely a good pace, close to race pace or maybe a little bit faster race pace. And then I did some speed work doing mile repeats either 800 meter, 800 meter repeats or whatever it was to kind of help uh, with that type of running there. And number three would be strength train. I think that's hugely important. Uh, we are a single leg sport and so we have to have that strength. Uh, I feel like the stronger that I became, the faster and able to turn my legs over a little quicker. And I think that's definitely very important. Also practicing like you're doing speed work to help improve those legs and help improve the turnover with my speed. <clears throat> and also I would definitely vary your speed, your, your runs. Long, my long runs weren't always all nice, easy pace. Sometimes I'll throw in some, uh, some uh, strides or, you know, uh, do half of it uh, fast, um, you know, negative splits, whatever you want to do to kind of help improve that speed during that time so definitely you want to make sure that you're working a little bit of speed work during your long run and that's going to help out improve your longevity of your run and also that's what the tempo and run is for that's what i like to do is when you're kind of meeting you're doing your tempo runs you're getting faster and longer with them and then those are going to meet your long runs and so that's going to help out improve your speed and longevity and endurance of that be able to turn your legs over longer um, periods of time and that's going to help you out with your time and hopefully get you a PR and your half marathon. All right guys, this concludes this video. I uh, hope everyone's doing well out there. Keep safe, keep running, and we'll see you next time.